something good now. Mm. How about this <laughs> forecast? It was nice, wasn't it? How'd you feel going outside today? Yeah, it mm -hmm. almost made me forget we're actually in fall. Uh, yeah. So it was almost. nice to have a little quick, brief return of what summer, springish type of weather. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Even summer temperatures out there because you know on average Indianapolis the warmest we get all year long and the peak of summer is 84 degrees. That's as warm as it gets around here. So a lot of us hit 80. Indianapolis 78 degrees as well. So we had lots of upper 70s today. Here's what it looked like throughout the day. Perfect weather to get outside and head over to Connor Prairie up in Fishers and you can see just all the things they have going on at Headless Horseman. They were doing that earlier and um, they've got lots of events over there. You want to check out their calendars. I'm certainly not the source for that, but I just think it looks so beautiful every time we look at their shots, whether it's in the summer and the hot air balloons or all their fall set up. So it's 65 degrees outside right now. We've got a breeze out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour and our dew point temperature is rising, which is going to help lower that fire risk too. I want to show you the day planner for Sunday. It looks really nice. Now Indianapolis, upper 70s, I think even some low 80s. If Indy is going to get and at least the airport is going to get to 80 degrees, our best chance would be tomorrow. I imagine we'll have a lot more joining that 80 degree mark than we even saw today. And there were several of us Martinsville, was one of them, which is really close to Bloomington, of course, just a little bit north of there. Uh, we had several locations that did make it to 80 degrees, including Terre Haute and then Indianapolis, at least the airport at 78. But Muncie, 79, Lafayette, 79 as well. Pretty good. Almost makes you forget that earlier in the week, Monday and Tuesday, we saw some trace amounts of snow, so it wasn't measurable. To get measurable snow, we need a tenth of an inch. Same thing as, as it goes for rain. And then a few days after, gosh, it was just a couple days ago, we were in freeze warnings and all kinds of stuff. So we've got the strong breeze out of the south. In fact, wind gusts today peaked at 8, 28 in Indianapolis, over 30 in Muncie, and that's helping to pull in some warm air very quickly. It was a sharp turnaround from those cooler temperatures we saw just earlier in the week. 5 to 10 miles per hour on the wind speeds right now, and our current temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Muncie still at 68 degrees, so is Terre Haute after hitting 80 degrees earlier this afternoon. As we look at our dew point temperatures now also rising, and gosh, it was just the levels that we were working with. Right now, no moisture, um, nothing to look at really as skies start to form and that'll help keep some of the heat in in the overnight hours. The latest drought report came out uh, this week, so if you missed it and you're checking in for the weekend shows, we do now have 30% of the state that does uh, qualify for the moderate drought category. So everything in the yellow there you see that's just abnormally dry. So we're coming off that very dry summer. We were down four to five inches of rainfall from our summer fall totals. And now that we are in the October season, all of these deficits only represent the month of October. So that's two, two and a half inches across the state. We really could use some rain. We do have some on the way though. So that's the good news here. Partly cloudy skies as we head into Sunday, but enough sunshine for sure. We're going to heat things up upper 70s, low 80s, and then maybe a little bit of isolated rain late Sunday night, but let's take a look at when the best most widespread rain is going to be coming in. This looks to be Tuesday. We've been talking about this last week and now here it is 7 a.m. and it looks like some showers we could even get some thunderstorms in here going as we head into Tuesday afternoon. There's 1230. We could really use the widespread rain as much as it we can get. We will take. Looking at our seven day forecast, we still have more warm weather on the way for tomorrow, some into the low 80s, and then we'll stay warm again for Monday. A pattern shift, though, is coming our way for Tuesday. We get those showers and even some thunderstorms moving in. That'll linger on into our Wednesday morning, and finally, cool temperatures off a little bit more as we head to the weekend.